By the time you see this video, you've probably seen me use each of these items at least once if you're a regular viewer, but I still wanted to share this video footage that I've had for a while just in case you may have not seen any of the older videos where I use these or you're just interested in seeing what they do. So let's get into it. Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic. I've been getting a lot of questions about this We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press. As far I have to have ink on it, sorry. Um, but as far as I know, these are no longer available. At least not this version. I've heard that there is a newer version. I don't know. I can't confirm that. But there is another another option now I also want to show you this one which I have yet to use it is the stamp perfect this one was available in Michaels but yeah it's the stamp perfect um, stamp positioning tool the only thing with this one is you can only use certain size paper whatever will fit this little black area you can't use a bigger sheet that was the thing with this one is that you could use a bigger sheet of paper for example this so you could have it hang off the edge and still stamp this area same here on this side with this one you can do it but you risk things not being lined up properly because your paper will be hanging over the edge here so I'm pretty sure you could probably get away with it but yeah like if you if you have to go this direction that's not going to work. So if you were going this way, possibly, and also, again, depending on the size of the paper. So let me put these back. But this was more sturdy, more stable when you had to stamp repeatedly because of the magnets. This one doesn't have magnets, so you had to rely on actually butting the paper up against the edge and this material, this plastic kind of gripping it on the bottom which it really doesn't do a good job of it so you had to be really careful so but it did it does well enough for what I needed it to do because I'm not big into stamping and card making like that I was just using it for stamping my planner stuff and I'm still learning when it comes to stamping but since I got so many questions and I was referring people to this right, so I went ahead and picked up the Tim Holtz stamp platform. As you can see here, I haven't taken it out of the box. This is what it looks like. I don't know anything about it. So we're going to open it up together and test it out together. So this slides out like this. Pretty nice packaging. You can save that. To make a cover with and voila it's much bigger than I expected it's pretty heavy duty whereas the we are um, memory keepers version is pretty flimsy it's very light and yeah and this one is a little heavier but again it's still pretty light this one feels pretty heavy duty you don't have to worry about this sliding around on your desk or anything and let's just compare sizes um, this is the we are memory keepers and I'm putting hinge to hinge and this is the stamp perfect so this is all of them together so so let's now focus on the Tim Holtz stamp platform. So it's pretty big as you can see. Here are the specs. I can show you this here. So it's open edged, allows accurate stamping on various size surfaces. It's full magnetic eight and a half by eight and a half base comes supplied with two handy magnets to secure your project in place when stamping anti-slip base ensures a sturdy platform when stamping 
Okay. Now, I didn't think I needed this because I had the We Are Memory Keepers. Um, but I'm kind of thinking maybe I like this one better. And I know, yeah, that this comes off. So depending on what kind of stamp you're using, you flip it over and use the other side. So, I feel like I'm breaking this though. I don't know. Um, I think the thicker stamps go on one side and like the clear stamps go on this side. It seems like it should have a base under here as well. But it doesn't. It seems like it might be missing that little feature. But let's just grab some stamps and see what we can do okay and the only unmounted stamps I have are my Prima uh, Julie Nutting Prima doll stamps so I'm gonna try one of those and then I'm gonna try a couple of these stamps from the Dollar Tree okay so I have a piece of eight and a half by eleven card stock and then I have a card ready to go so I'm going to start with the which side is which I guess I'm going to start with the one with the Dollar Tree stamps and I'm just going to say use the hello I'm just going to stamp it right on the card base since this is just playing around so I picked up my stamp this is just the ink from Tuesday morning and I'm kind of liking this ink and I don't seem to be able to stamp on these platforms without getting ink all over the platform but Try to keep it clean so I've got it butted up against there I didn't put my magnets on you can tell I'm not used to this let's put the magnets on so that works great okay so that worked so now let's try adding a little color to it Let's try it again. And I probably should use a layer stamp, but. I'll clean my stamps later. I really like this a lot better than the We Are Memory Keepers. It gives you a really nice stamp. So let's try the Julie Nutting doll. I've heard that you should probably make a little tab. We have to keep these separate because they will get stuck together. So let's try her. Usually I didn't have anything big enough to stamp them with. So I would just keep her on the acetate that she came on so I don't think she goes on this side I'm gonna flip it to the other side okay this side it, it tells you right here I didn't see it at first so you can see that this side is for clear and this side is for rubber. So this would be considered rubber, I think. So I'm going to put it on this side. So I think that when it says rub the rubber is facing you then that's the side that you should have it on. So if the clear was facing, that's the side you should have it on. I'm totally confused 
myself now so I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp her and see how it works and with this you could use multiple um, stamp pads like maybe stamp her dress area one color stamp her legs I mean most people do paper piecing with these after they've stamped the initial figure but you could actually do piecing with the stamps so I like this much better I don't have to press this hard I can tell that it is actually touching the paper I missed that little corner right there so I'm gonna go back and stamp some more I missed this whole edge actually so yeah this will make ooh, working with these larger stamps so much easier Okay, why won't that corner stamp? Am I stamping on the wrong side? There we go. I just wasn't pressing hard enough. Okay. Nice. Nice, clean stamp. So, I'm going to say that I, just on my first impression like this stamp platform a whole lot better I didn't know what I was missing so overall I really like this stamp platform much better than the we are memory keepers and I haven't really used the Hampton Arts one to say knowing what I know now this would have been my first choice for a stamp platform or stamp press it has the best of both worlds it's heavy duty you can use pretty much any size paper in it you can use clear stamps you can use rubber stamps it's easily easily adjusted for either one and again it's heavy duty it's not going to slide it's a nice big size so and I just feel like I just can't go wrong with um, Tim Holtz stuff it's really nice it would be nice if it had something underneath on the platform but that is totally just probably because I'm used to seeing it on the Misty and the Hampton Arts tool but that is it this was my first impression of uh, the stamp platform uh, if you have any questions please leave them below I'll also link to um, this platform below thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye